From now on, we are enemies. You and I. And here we have the Cyclops species. I'll be showing the armored Cyclops because he's basically the same thing as a regular Cyclops just with a uh, club and armor. You can remove yeah. the club by attacking his right arm. You can remove the helmet very easily as any vocation. Yeah. While climbing, if you're below the belt, he'll typically drop on his ass. When he bends over like that, that means he's gonna drop. If you get between his shoulder blades on his upper back, he will reach for you and remove his helmet. If he grabs you, then you'll have the uh, wiggle the sticks moment. When he looks left and right like that, he's reaching for you. Either get lower or jump off. That wiggle move will drain your stamina and get you stuck in the animation of uh, no adhesion. Get to his upper back and have him remove the helmet. Now if you climb to his right side of the skull, he's less likely to damage you when he does his reach. Right there he's just rubbing his eye, and now comes the reach, and he missed. If you're to the left or on his eyeball, he would have hit and knocked you off. Now he's letting us know that he's in rage mode, which increases his aggressiveness and speed a little bit. If you stay close to him, he'll do that straight drop, no swing. Straight drop. There's the left arm reaching to knock you off. Straight drop, because we're close. And when we move far away, we get the rampant swings, where he starts flailing around like that. This is a good time to regain stamina. Just keep your distance. Now he's letting us know that he's done with rage mode, and he will do an animation where he just stands there and lets us uh, hit him. In rage mode he can grab you with his right hand. When not in rage mode he's limited to only his left hand can grab. After he does his grab animation he leaves himself open for severe damage to his face. Right there. You can latch on or do antler toss or whichever you want. Now he's done with rage mode. That was short lived. Now he stands there for a little while waiting for us to damage the shit out of him. In normal mode, he will use his left hand to grab, usually when you're pretty close by, dead center. He'll start doing his swing when you move a little more to his right. Rage mode usually happens if you break his tusk or attack his eye. That will typically get him enraged.
while in rage mode he does that backhand swing, especially if you're right behind him. Either the left hand or the right bat. Get close up, he'll do the straight drop. Just wait for your stamina to regain or wait for his rage mode to calm down like that. And then he does that animation where he just stands there. Gore Cyclops is an upgrade to the regular Cyclops with the same basic attacks, the same uh, attack patterns, though he will pick up items and throw them at you a lot more often. They always come with an arsenal of weaponry that they can throw at you. You can dispose of these items before he reaches them. and you are not included as a grab if he's reaching for a rock or a barrel. Close range will be right, left, and then yell. Not a very difficult attack to avoid. Pretty easy. Move away slightly more and he'll jump at you. Again, pretty easy to avoid that one. Close by, he does his reach and grab, which leaves him very vulnerable for damage to the face right there. So if you get close to him, he will reach, grab, ready. and then just slightly further away you get out of his grab location area and he'll do his left right yell get behind him he'll do right swing left swing foot stomp and then double swing four attack sequences leaving him open at the end And just like the other Cyclops, when he looks right and looks left, he's getting ready to grab with his left arm. Just like the other Cyclops, three foot stomps. Now we're back to the four attack pattern. Right swing, left swing, foot stomp, double hand swing. Leaving him open at the end. And this is going to be his rage attack. It's not necessarily rage mode at the moment, but this is his flailing around. If you are climbing him at this point, you will lose stamina very quickly. That would have grabbed you if you stayed on. If you're toward the back of the skull, he would not have reached you, but at the front, that grab would have reached us. Uh. 
Now let's see about that stamina loss during rage attack while climbing. Just lost, lost half the stamina there. And there's the rest. And probably gonna die. A good time to climb is during the other attack animations. The uh, two left hand right swing yell attack or this one the right left foot stomp double swing. Just stay toward the back of the skull because that attack can knock you off if you're at the front. He's rubbing his eye. If we were to continue he would have used his left hand and knocked us off damaging us. This is rage mode right there, letting us know. He likes to grab a lot when he's in rage mode. And he becomes a little faster. This look tells us he's going to try to shake us off, which drains our stamina very quickly. Especially that right there. Gives you plenty of time to get off once you see that animation. And now to convince the grab over and over again and take advantage of the animations. Get off immediately because that grab can grab you. And he's ready again. This is how the cycle goes. Now that tells us he's going to begin his rage attack, which drains stamina very quickly. So we just want to get off. This is the shake off the stamina drain, so we'll want to get off. Condemned Cyclops, you can remove the helmet by shooting the strap, or if you're climbing at the time, cut the strap. Though they're not very ideal for climbing. Uh, large body is pretty easy to get grabbed. You can't move quick enough oftentimes by the time you have moved and reached his eye he's already knocked you off unless uh, you're Strider or you have a constant torpor on him. Just not ideal for climbing typically. And just like a regular Cyclops, you shoot his eye out. Rage mode begins. Right now he is basically blinded. And he begins to swing randomly. Which is a good choice to stay away from that. And we're still in rage mode. Which, just like the regular Cyclops, he will start flailing around, moving in closer to you. And if you get close to him, he'll do his straight ahead drop. Like regular Cyclops, you can take off the club by damaging his arm. 
there's the straight drop because we're close enough. If you get too close, he'll do his foot stomp, which is left, right, left. A little further back, he does his straight drop again. Too close, foot stomps. Straight drop. Get a little further away or start moving away. Then he'll do his flailing. does his straight ahead drop he is vulnerable not from reaching and grabbing but if you've got a bow his head is down low so you can convince him to do the straight drop and then be ready to fire him be careful and aware that he likes to do his backhand with his club or his hand straight drop get too far flailing about the flailing is another one that you can take advantage of if you do have a bow if you can convince him to do the flailing and get far enough you can shoot him from a distance or begin charging a spell. This signals rage mode is over. You can start charging a spell at this point or get in for that shot. Since a strider is faster, climbing is actually not a bad idea throw torpor on the rest of daggers and it's a constant torpor but we still have the same cyclops, grabs, and locations. So, upper back, mid shoulder blades, he will grab at us. But this time he does not remove his helmet, because it's strapped on. 
we can cut it off since we're up here. But you'll need Gloves of Might or Strider to really get moving. Right now he's torpored, so it's not so bad. But even then... Cyclops, the first thing he does when he gets out is grab his club. So you could always find the club location and just wait for his reach and then attack at that point. 